Good morning and welcome back to my channel. This is Sarah from Sarah Beth Plans and um, I planned last week, did a video and for some reason my camera cut out and I didn't notice until like half the video was gone. So I'm hoping that everything goes well today so that I can get this one posted for you. Um, this week we are going to be doing a football kit. Um, I don't typically watch football because we don't have cable. Um, we usually just use the streaming services. Um, but I'm going to see if there's a way that we can watch it this time um, because of the Super Bowl. And that is because um, the Chiefs are in the Super Bowl this year and uh, my kids want to watch it because we are now living in Kansas. So it is a pretty local team for us and there's been a lot of excitement in the air around us locally with the um, Super Bowl coming up and songs dedicated to the Chiefs on the radio and Spirit Week at school. So it's just been something that's been around and my kids have been hearing about it so they want to watch it this year. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a new kit in our shop. I know I got into the shop a little bit late in the season but we can always use it for next year. So um, this is what it looks like. This is the one for the Jibun Techo. I did go ahead and set up my A5 um, Day Free from Hobonichi so I can show you how that looked as well. That was another video I tried to do this week and camera was now working with me. So let's see how it goes and hopefully we can get this one up for you. So this is the full boxes page. There are plenty of boxes here to get you through the week. And now we've got our washi page with the washi strips here and then our checklist and our headers. And then our hourly boxes, water trackers, flags, habit trackers, and more checklists. So we actually do not have a very busy week coming up, but um, we still have quite a bit going on as usual because we have a very active family <laughs> in sports. So this week we actually have sports going five days this week. So regardless of it not being busy besides that, it's still a pretty hectic week. So what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks, and I did it with my cousin, let me show you that real quick, is that I've been adding a strip of washi here just to give it a little extra um, shimmer. I like the way the bows from, <clears throat> excuse me, Simply Gildan look with it. And I did it as headers up here as well, only because I didn't print out cousin size headers for this week. I actually haven't filled out today's um, page yet, but this is how the week turned out. Um, and unfortunately, the video did not allow me to get that posted for you. So at least that way you can see how it came out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the small size on here because this is a more narrow um, piece of washi than it is in the cousin. And I had some trouble. Um, it's been a few months since I've used the paper from the Hobonichi and I forgot just how temperamental their paper can be. And... Sorry about that guys, I heard something really weird going on. <laughs> I didn't know where the noise was coming from. And it is my filming camera, my filming light. So um, I'm sorry that the light is not as nice as it was a second ago, but um, after I turned off the camera to check it out, I realized that my light here is smoking and I don't want a fire. So we are going to um, just skip that, so. You know, I tried something new when I was doing my cousin, as I was saying, I forgot how temperamental their paper was. And um, I was trying to do my washi and the, uh, excuse me, the washi was giving me a hard time coming up when I was cutting it and it ripped my page. So I was really quite upset with that. I'm going to see what I can do to brighten this up just a bit. Give me just one second, I'll be right back. 
Okay, that's a little bit better. It's not um, as bright as my um, filming uh, lights, but it works. And this one has not had any issue with smoking, so we're gonna we're gonna go with it for today. So, um, yeah. So I was a little frustrated because the um, washi when I was trying to pull it up on the Tamil River paper, it ripped my page. And that was really like frustrating for me. It's only my second week. Uh, well, starting my third week in my Hobonichi again. So having the paper rip on it already was very frustrating. And if you remember back on one of my other videos, the same thing happened in my <laughs> Chibun. So yeah, I'm going to be a little more careful when it comes to putting washi on in my cousin because that paper is a lot more sensitive than this one is. So, all right, I really like how that adds a little bit. Um, also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but in my Instagram feed, I had posted that I had added some Erin Condren kits back into the shop. I've only got two in there right now, but I am working to um, comfort a bunch of my cousin kits into Erin Condren sizing. So if you like my stickers but wish they came in the Erin Condren sizing, that is now going to be available for you. So I hope that is exciting news for you. And um, I'm putting them in like a mini kit. The kits are going to be similar to the kits for the Jibun Techo, um, where we have a page of the hourly boxes. So those will be the the half and the quarter sheet or quarter boxes for the Erin Condren. And then you'll have your nine boxes for um, your full boxes and you'll get a strip of flags. And then on the last page, you'll get your date covers, your washi, your glitter strips, and then you'll get um, some labels. And actually nine of these boxes will be on that first page, but eight of them will be the stickers that are actual full boxes. The last one will be one of your heart checklist. So it'll be very similar. And you'll also get the icon page, the um, script page, and the date covers all included in that. So I figured that would be a good size mini kit, which will also allow you to get them for a lower price than if it was a full six page kit. So I hope that is exciting news for you. So we're gonna go ahead and choose this one for our box right here. And let me see how I did. Oh, last week, I, this was another video that I had done and was not able to post it. I don't know. I really hope that my um, camera cooperates today because the same this week came out really pretty. I love how it looks doing the boxes sporadically like I used to do in my Erin Condren. I just think it came out really cute this week. Um, so I will try to do this again. I want to figure out the sizing a little bit better um, before I do it again. Um, although I could probably, yep, I'm going to actually do this again this week. So let me see. I added a strip down here and that allowed everything to fit perfectly. So I'm going to do that again. I will add a strip of the pink with the bows. Now these bows are going to be um, the holographic and these ones rose gold, but I'm fine with that. I don't mind mixing metals in my kits. I know some people really just, that grates on their nerves, but for me, it doesn't bother me at all. I mix and match all the time. So I am totally fine with that. So let's get this strip in here. See if we can get that to line up. And I always have a hard time getting my 
washi to cut evenly, but I saw somebody using just the blade of their um, their knife over here to just hold it steady and then tear. And I tried it this past week and I really um, thought it was great because it really does make a huge difference because it is a sharper edge than using like a washi card. Um, so it did cut the washi without making a mess out of it because I hate when it gets torn and it's got the rigid edging on it. Okay, so I will start at the bottom like I did here because then I know that I need to use either one of the washi strips, I mean the thin washi from Simply Gilded or two of the sparkly ones because two of these is the same width as the Simply Gilded. So for Monday, I think I'm going to go with this one. And I think on Friday we will use the scene box and that one will go down next just so that I can line up the washi. So for Saturday and Sunday, I will use these with the truck. So last week we um, we haven't told our kids yet, but we are planning a vacation with them and my parents, and we are going to be going to Universal. My kids are big Harry Potter fans, so we are going to um, take them to Universal. And um, last week I was able to pick up the tickets for that. I'm really excited for that. Um, cannot wait to share that with the kids. They have no idea that we are going to get tickets. They've been wanting to go for a really long time and they know they're, that the tickets are expensive. So they're always just like, someday I want to go. I know the tickets are expensive, so we should save up this year. And so they are so cute, but we are super excited that we're going to be able to do that for them this coming spring. We're going to actually do it for um, spring break and they have no idea, which is going to be super, super fun to do the reveal. And give me one second. I just want to make sure this goes straight. There we go. And um, so what we're going to do is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to order some parchment paper. Excuse I got my nails done and I cannot grab anything <laughs> with them. I try to keep them short, but my nails grow so fast that it's pretty impossible to keep them that way. Um, so anyways, I'm going to order some parchment paper and I'm going to um, make up Hogwarts letters for my kids. And they are going to be so excited. Um, uh, what we're doing is actually going to <clears throat> reveal on Valentine's Day because um, we have, like I said, we have sports every day. And <clears throat> usually the only day that we're free is on um, Friday nights. So Valentine's falls on, a val on Friday this year. So we were, I was looking at the calendar and trying to figure out when would be a good day to reveal because I want it to be a surprise, but I don't want it to be like, oh, here's your surprise. Okay, get in the car, let's go. So <laughs> I was looking and I was like, oh, I think that doing it on Valentine's Day will probably work the best. Um, I just, hold on, so I want to see if these are the same size because I really, they, they're slightly different. No. Nope, sorry, they're the same size. We're going to use this um, here. Do I? No, because I already have the bows down here. So I'm gonna just going to stick with the bows. Um, we are going to make the letters, and I'm going to get one of those, um, the seals that they sell. And I'm going to get 
you know, the wax seals, the ones that they use in the movies to send out the Hogwarts letters. So I'm going to get one of those. I found them on Amazon and when I put the letters together, I'm going to seal them with those and we're going to put them in the mailbox so that when they come home from school, I'll just ask them if they can grab the mail for me. And then they will have their surprise because they won't know anything. They'll just run in and grab the mail like they usually do and that will give them the opportunity to find the letters. So I was thinking, you know, should I just do the kids and um, just have them get the letters? But I figured if they just get the letters, they're going to think, oh, it must be just going. You guys aren't getting letters, so you can't go. So I'm going to do letters for everybody, but I'm going to have them be the ones to find them in the mailbox. And then they have no idea that my parents are going. So I'm going to make letters, send them to my parents so that... Um, my parents can call and say, hey, we, you know, we got letters, we're going to Hogwarts, we're going to be going during spring break, and then the kids will be able to say, oh my goodness, we got letters too, and so it'll, I think it'll be a lot of fun, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to seeing their reactions to that. I am debating. Now, if you guys have done a universal reveal for your kids please comment below and give me some feedback. I am trying to decide if I should put um, the brochures that we receive, maybe go back and request a couple more so that each of the kids can get their own and um, put those in with the letters so that they can see um, what the park has and what kind of activities there are. Um, so if you've done a reveal, I would love, 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 love to hear your stories of how you told your kids that you were going. And if you've done the letters, did you include the brochures in there so that the kids have those to look at while they wait for their trip? Because we are revealing about three weeks before the actual trip so I want to make sure that they get excited and have plenty of anticipation for when we do go okay I like how that came out now I'm still using the top part of the planner to do my checklist and I've got some new checklists that are gonna be going into the shop. I have not had a second to put them in yet. Um, I just got them put together a few days ago, uh, but I've been really busy trying to get everything up in the shop for the sale, which ends today. So if you guys wanna take advantage, they are still up. So what I've got here are um, the checklist, these ones are the bows, and I put seven per row. So that gives you either five weeks of checklist, or if you use more than one, then it may be less, but you can get at least five weeks out of here if you use one checklist per day. So that is more based on what your planning preference is, but um, I've got these ones, and then I will show you the other ones that I've made. Hang on a second to get these off. Like I said, I can't grab nothing, but these nails are getting a little bit long, but that's okay. Do you wanna mark that down? Great. No, we'll go down. Oh, I forgot these ones are not the removable. I was printing something else for an order and I decided we have a little extra space <laughs> through these on, so they're not exactly. as easy to remove. That's the ones I normally use. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the other ones that I made and these will be going in the shop as well um, as a option if you want them to go with your daily planning because they are a little bit bigger. 
Um, oh, also, I have not been in a rings planner in, let's see, probably since last February. But this is my favorite one that I've ever had. This is a Foxy Fix, and I believe this one is called Steel. I just love the way the leather feels on this, but they don't sell the, this leather anymore. So I have not been able to get one for my A5 planners. So what I did is I took um, a few decorations and put them in, and then I took all my four by six, well, they're three and a half by five actually, um, sticker sheets, and I punched holes in them, moved over the stickers if I needed to, to make them fit. And now I have an easy way to find my stickers. So, um, I have not had a chance to put these ones in or the ones that I printed today, but these ones will be going in as well. Um, but I separated using the 4.75 by 6.75 cards, um, like for dashboards, and I'm using these to separate between the script and um, functional icon stickers. So these ones are the six checklists that I printed out for the Cousin Daily. So I do have these available too. I'm gonna to get these up in the shop as well. And let me just show you how they look in case you weren't paying attention really when you were, when we were doing the flip through. So these ones are the six checklist. And um, I've only put one in each day, but that's because I don't want to waste the stickers if I don't use more than six. If I end up using more than six, I can just add another one down here. Uh, last week, my week was really quite busy during the week, so I would always use more than six. So um, these ones were the three checklists. I ended up using more than two. These ones were six, and I ended up using two for a lot of the days last week. So um, I will probably end up using two per day, but just to start out, um, because they are the foiled ones, um, I didn't want to waste them, so I started out with one per day for this week. So those are the new ones that are going to go up in the shop. Um, I hope you like those. And sorry, I cannot grab anything today. When I went and got my nails filled, she, I do the dip nails and she did them really short for me, but my nails, it's only been two weeks, my nails grow super fast, so um, I need to try and function at least for another week or two because they are fine at the top. It's just that the length of them, I mean, it's not very long, but it's longer than what I'm used to. I keep my nails very short usually. So it's just gonna take some getting used to, that's all. Anyways, um, Curious if you do go to get your nails done, what is your favorite um, style to get? Gel or acrylic dip? What is your, what is your jam? <laughs> I haven't had my nails done in years, and the last time that I got them done, I got them done with the the dip, and I really liked it. So I want that way again this time, and I still am enjoying them other than <laughs> trying to get through the adjustment period of having them back on my hands. So, all right, so I'm not actually going to put um, to-do headers up there because I know they're, that's my to-do list. So what I'm going to do is, again, use the white bows, and I'm gonna just line those up here. And this side is always a little tricky because they got that big box there. I'm just gonna line it up at the top of this box here. And then that will give me enough space to do my weather. I have my icons a little bigger than the boxes that they allow here. This way, if you're using them on a different planner, they're not too small. So. I have to use a little bit more space on what they allow for. And these ones that I'm gonna be using are the new foiled ones that need to go up in the shop. I have not gotten them all up. I think I got part of the collection up and not all of them. Okay, so I've got them in this little ring planner here. And 
This week is going to be pretty, I hope I have enough of them, of the partially sunny. It's going to be pretty much that all week with the exception of Sunday and tomorrow. Sunday is going to be sunny and tomorrow it's supposed to snow. So the snow ones I have not gotten in there yet. So I'll pull these ones, put that up. And then all the way through Sunday, we will be using the Partially Sunny. This has been like a weird, I mean, I, maybe it's normal for here, I don't know. This is my first winter in Kansas, but I always heard that it was very cold, which it, it is pretty cold out here, but I heard that you get a lot of snow and um, we haven't had a lot of snow in our lives in about 10 years since we lived in New York. And I was really excited for that, but the, the snow that they get here is fast and it's furious because of the wind and it's over and melted within like 24 hours. The last um, big snowstorm that we had, we got like six inches maybe, it was gone in two days. And then they keep forecasting it and it doesn't actually happen most of the time. So these are the little sun ones. These ones are for rain, it's a little umbrella. And then I've got one for windy days, which we definitely need in Kansas. And my sunny ones and then my, I have my snow ones here. I have a bunch of other ones that um, I have to get into the shop. I've got ones for freezing temperatures because I know there's a lot of people that get super cold. Um, in the winter, so I got some of those, and I got um, super hot temperatures, which we'll be using because I heard that it gets really hot here in the summer. So there's a lot of really cute ones. I just need to get them put up. Um, before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the temperatures. Um, someone asked in one of my videos which pen we were using, and I like to use this one. It's the Sarasa. Um, <laughs> I do use the 0.5s as well, um, but with a lot of the kits, if I have a shimmer pen, I will use it. The shimmer pens come in 1.0, but they still dry really fast, and I'm left-handed, so having a pen that dries really fast is key <laughs> for me not to have smudging all over the place. Um, so um, if you are still wondering, this is what I have been using. And you can see it has a little bit, this is actually the dark blue on this side. Um, it doesn't have much shadow on the other pages either. So that works out really well. Um, I will respond to your comment and I am so sorry that it has taken me so long to do that. Um, but I will get to your question. Um, sorry, I just don't wanna lose track here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 41. So it's going to be high of 32 for tomorrow, but then by Sunday, it's going to be 60. So it's a uh, very hectic <laughs> weather around here. You never know what you're going to receive. 49, I think, and then 60. 37. Okay. And I just realized I did not put my date covers in. Give me one second. I need to grab those. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, I had printed out a large sheet. Um, let me show you. They had a large, these ones are the resized ones that I made for the cousin dailies. Um, I had another sheet of these that were the size for the Jaboon. <laughs> but I don't know where I put them. So I had to foil another sheet of the small ones until I can print out another large sheet. Unless, you know what? I think I know what I did with them. You know what I'm thinking about? I think I sent them to my mom and forgot to print myself another copy. So <laughs> I might be losing it. I might not be, I'm not really sure, but I know I printed and foiled them in holographic and I don't know if they're here or if they're at my mom's house. So Anyway, we have some now, so that's all that matters. So, and I completely forgot what I was telling you before. Okay, so this week we have just my kids' sports 
for the most part. Um, thankfully, on Saturday, as you can see, we're going to have 60 degree weather. It seems like every time we have to go out of town for one of my daughter's gymnastics meets, they are during a storm. So I'm very thankful that this week it's going to be 60. Well, no, I'm sorry. She's not competing Sunday this time. She's competing Saturday, which will be 49. But still, as of right now, <laughs> there's no snow in the forecast, which makes me happy because I hate driving that far in the snow around here. So, okay. Let's see what here are we leaving off on the 27th. Can't believe it's the end of January already. So we have that going on, and then um, as I told you my kids' schools have Spirit Week because of the Super Bowl this week. So they need to wear the Chiefs um, inspired clothes. Actually, I did not even open the email that had all the information because like I said we don't really <laughs> watch football regularly so um I mean I like football and I cheered for football when I was in high school and my daughter cheered for football and my son played football for a year and I really do enjoy it it's just that we don't have cable so it's hard to watch a game um from the NFL so I'm hoping that we are able to watch it uh, we have an app from our um, cell phone company that allows you to watch cable on the Apple TV but we um, have not tried to see if we're gonna be able to see the football game on there or not that would be nice if we could but I have no idea at this point if that is actually going to work out or not. Okay, so we'll put that right there. This is coming along really nice. I really like how this is looking. All right, so what I'm going to do is work on the sidebar a bit. And I know a lot of shops use like the glitter, but when I have an opportunity to use like a diamond cut, that's what I'm gonna go with because I really enjoy the way those look. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to do pink or gray with these boxes here. Let's go with the gray and offset the pink just a bit. And I really like how it came out last week. So let me just take a look, see how I did. Okay, there's a, not much space in between. So I will do the same. I'm going to do my kids decided some of them are going to be buying lunch this week, some are not. So we will get the buying lunch sticker used for this week. Last week I didn't use it because it was just my oldest that wanted to buy. And then we will do my cleaning list here. And I don't like to use the daily checklist for that only because... I don't have a specific day that I get things done. It's just whenever I have a chance, I get it taken care of. And then I did use a half box here, but I am not doing that this time. I'm going to do my habit tracker, which I'm going to probably use the pink one just so it coordinates with the rest of the bar. So we'll use the We're going to track, where's my sheet, Here's my water again, I have got to get better about this, we'll put this here, and then, doo, doo, doo. what do I want to do? Um, I think I'll just use another strip of the washi here to kind of fill that in. We do have a little bit of space there though. And that might drive me crazy. If I slide this one down and this one down a little bit, it will not it will not um, 
take up that much space. I'm going to speed you through while I fix that. Okay, that looks better. Now, um, as I was telling you before, in the um, the cousin, the paper is very sensitive, and doing this would probably rip the page. Now, this paper is completely the opposite, and if you um, take off the stickers, they may not stick back down again um, very easily because the paper is a much more glossy, I think. Or, I don't know, the finish on it makes the stickers not as um, able to stick down for some reason. And I don't know why. Um, although this week it doesn't seem like it's giving me much trouble. Usually up in the corners here it tends to not stick until the book's been closed for a little while. Okay, let's move on. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with Monday. Monday we are not doing too much. We have wrestling tonight. So what I'm going to do is grab one of our new wrestling stickers. And I think I want to use that with a flag. Hopefully be able to see it through the print. I don't typically use um, the white, I'm sorry, the clear sticker paper just because I prefer to have the white background, so it makes it a little easier to read. But I had these ones printed out already, so I'm gonna just use them up. Um, okay, and then today I'm also doing the filming for the video you are watching. Actually, I'm gonna put this down a little bit further because I have to, I'm gonna mark down that I had to bring my husband to work early this morning. Let's see, this one I gotta put in still. And I really do, you know what, while I've got this out, I'm going to do the one for the sidebar. This is a new font that I am using. I really like how this one, it's hard to focus, but I really like the way this font looks. And I am updating my stickers to reflect this. Um, you know, I'm going to try to edit today as well. So I'll pull out one of these. And this looks like it cut a little deeper than intended. Hold on, there we go. And a filming sticker. And we'll get those put in here. I will probably edit tonight while I'm at wrestling because I usually edit on my iPad, which I take with me most nights. So I'll put that there. And I want to use one of my YouTube video ones Instagram. I think those are really cute. Here they are. So what I'm doing with this book is just as I print out new stickers, I'm putting them in there. And then um, the ones that are already printed, I'm just um, changing up the sheets a little bit, taking them off where they were, moving them over, and then um, putting them where they belong. Let me put... Actually, you know what? I'm not sure if he, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me change this. I'm gonna put my husband's work. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Never mind, I've got enough of those to do for the whole week. My husband's battalion changed up their schedule, and it's very... Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the hours that they <laughs> changed it to. I keep asking them, if they ask for your opinion, can you please ask them to change it back? Because we are a one-car family, and... I have to drive my kids to school because they don't have a bus <laughs> and um, their school starts at, well, they have to be there. It's very weird. They have, um, and it's frustrating <laughs> because their school starts at like 8.50. I drop them off at 8.15 every morning, which is plenty of time for them to go to the cafeteria if they want to and um, get to get to the classroom and anything that they need to do. But for some reason, my son told me that every morning they tell them he's got to go and get a late pass, which I don't understand because I'm <laughs> getting him to school super early every morning. So I really don't understand all this. But he said that they they put him through and make him get a late pass. So I had a call on that because I don't understand why they're marking him late. They had him on his last report card marked tardy for 26 days. And I was like, what? And so I asked him because I had only brought him into school late one day. And that was the day that we went and got our flu shots. And he was there by like 10 o'clock. So he didn't even miss much school. And he's like, no, every morning they make me get a late pass. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I bring you in like a half an hour before school starts. He's like, yeah, I don't know why, but that's what they've been doing. I was like, okay, I guess we will be making a phone call to find out why they're marking you late every day. Okay, so Friday is going to be our payday. And I want to do fun sticker only because I have my penny stickers and I never get to use the payday ones because we only get paid twice a month so it's not too often that we get to use them so I'm going to use the payday sticker again this is in rose gold which doesn't match match but I'm okay with that all my penny stickers are back here and just got to find my payday one I know I have one. Where did it go? I got lots of shopping ones. Oh, here it is. Uh, this one says the bills on it, but when we get paid, that's what I do. Pay the bills. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. That's um, going to have to work, so. I am so sorry. I feel, I feel like I've been coughing and sniffling the whole video, and I apologize for that. Um, I don't know why I've been so coughing and whatever. It might be allergies. You know, I should put that one on the top. Um, my kids have been suffering really bad with the allergies here, and I don't think that it's much... Um, that we can do about it. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking. I think it's just our bodies getting adjusted to the seasons here in Kansas because we have allergies. I mean, I'm not going to deny it, but it's been really bad since we moved here. And we lived in an area that was rated like top 10 worst for allergies in the country. So I thought moving here, we would be fine, but apparently... That's not the case. That is really going to bother me that that's over her head. Give me a second to change this again. I don't want Penny's head being chopped off by words. Maybe I will put her up here. And then put Payday down here. So it's not directly over her face. There. That's better. Not really. Oh my goodness. This is going to drive me crazy, this one. That's better. Okay. So we got that. And then on Friday, 
we have also the I know I jump around but I have to do it as I think of it otherwise I will forget we have um, trashy on Friday I'm gonna mark it Thursday because we are terrible 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 about remembering to put the trash out so I'm going to actually just use the trash penny sticker which I know a couple of videos ago I was having some issues with that one but I printed out new ones for myself and these ones have been corrected so if you order them no worries I will send out the new ones I think these are really cute take them out the trash so we'll do that one down here because we usually do that right before bed because we're not supposed to have the trash out too early. Let me find my trash sticker. Do Not Disturb, and I forgot to put my iPad on Do Not Disturb, so if you hear a beeping, that is that. All right, Tuesday we have gymnastics and wrestling, so I am going to, I like how that looked with the flag, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we'll put wrestling here, because that's later in the day than gymnastics, and we'll put gymnastics up here. My son is now wrestling four days a week, so that is definitely keeping us busy. My daughter has gymnastics twice a week, but this week she has, these ones were an oopsie, they cut off a little bit so you can see where the S is cut off a little bit. So I ended up keeping these ones for myself just so I could use them up, but part of my S is missing. All right, so this week she's got a meet. So we will actually be at gymnastics three days this week and wrestling four days this week, which can be a bit hectic, but I actually do enjoy going to watch them do their sports, so. That works here. And then Thursday we have both again. Oh. And is Thursday yeah, Thursday wrestling is after gymnastics again. I'm going to do exactly the same for this day. Oops, and I put this one on backwards. So I'm going to fix that. Put both of them on backwards, I just realized. Sometimes I like to put the flag part inside because it looks... You know what? I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep the one for gymnastics like that and we'll put the wrestling one facing out sometimes I like how it looks with the flag on the inside okay Friday we don't have anything else going on Friday besides payday and the trash I might have some new releases on Friday not 100% sure yet. Yeah, we'll see how that goes during the week here. Um, I've got a lot of new artwork that I am super, super excited to show you guys. Um, but I've got to get some other things done besides new kits. I've got a bunch of functional stickers that I want to get done as well. So that will be 
coming up after I get the um sorry <laughs> after I get the functional stuff put in so we're gonna do gymnastics again on sun Saturday we have for meet Saturday it's an all-day meet we have to drive a couple hours to get there but she's going on in the afternoon so I don't sorry so I don't have to um get a hotel for this weekend because she doesn't start her meet until like 2 45 so we should be home I mean ready to leave for home probably around 7 so that'll give us time to drive home for that day Sunday we have nothing going on but I am hoping to be able to do the Super Bowl with the kids because I know they want to see that so I'll put that down here because that's in the evening and I don't have a football sticker so I think I will use my event sticker I can find it I know I have them because I just made them and put them in here. There we go. Um, and then that is for Sunday. Let's see here. Wednesday. I never even got to Wednesday besides wrestling. Wednesday is my dad's birthday. So we are going to put something fun and fancy down there. I'm going to use, I think, one of my... I know I'm going to use one of these. I'm trying to decide if I want to use this or a foiled one. I think I'll use these. These are cute. And I'm going to put a box here. For his birthday. And I was going to put one of the birthday ones, but I don't know if it will fit. Hmm. Let's try, because I like them. I think I like the one having the birthday cake in her hand. And we'll just put that. No. Nope, it's not going to work. This is perfect size, and we'll just put my dad's name there after. And then um, throughout the week, I will be designing. So I will put, you know what, I have my girl here. I want to put her in for my coffee today, because today was a rough, rough morning. The uh, new schedule is killing me. I have to get up a lot earlier than I normally do. And it is rough on me and the kids. And I really hope that they change it back. My husband said not to count on it, but we can still dream, right? There is nothing wrong with that. I'm trying to see if I have a sticker that says, but first coffee without it being gold. Let's see what we have here. Give me one second. I do. I have one here that is in the holographic. So we'll put that next to her. <coughs> okay. Um... I want to do my design penny for tomorrow. And I'll put that on the label. I know there's a lot of gray in here, but I just want to use the pink. Can't help it, it's my favorite color. 
And we'll do the same for here. Okay, and I think that is all we have for today. And I will do a little shimmer here. And I really hope that you enjoyed this plan with me and um, hopefully everything goes well and I can get this up for you today. So I hope you have a wonderful day and have a wonderful weekend.